Google Docs is a cloud-based word processing tool that is offered within Google Apps for Education. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of the advanced features in Google Docs called the Suggesting Mode and the Revision History Mode. So, I have here a sample journal entry that a student may have typed, and I just want to show you how to do some neat things from both the teacher end as well as the student end. So for one thing, as a teacher, there's a couple different ways you can help correct these paragraphs. And I really like to allow kids to make their own corrections, but sometimes they need a little bit of a boost. So there's a couple ways to do this. One way for teachers is to just add comments into the document. So the way you do that is you just highlight whatever you want to comment on. So right here, we notice that our student did not capitalize his name. So we'll just highlight this, and you can right-click on it and add a comment. You can say, please remember to capitalize your name. And then click Comment, and that will be in there. So the student can see these comments when they log back into their account. Another way to add suggestions to a paper is to enter the suggesting mode. So in order to do this, you need to have sharing access to the file. But if your students are creating their documents within the Google Drive portfolio, like I showed how to do earlier, it should already be taken care of. But in order to go to suggesting mode, you go up here to the right corner of the page and click this tab. And it'll show you there's editing mode, which is just basically word processing and suggesting mode which allows you to add comments or suggestions for corrections and then viewing mode which just allows you to see it for printing. So we're going to enter suggesting mode and I'll show you how this works. I recommend suggesting mode when students are proofreading each other's papers because in suggesting mode when you make a suggestion it will allow them to just click on a check mark to accept the suggestion so I think this is better for students to do because it just takes some of it out of the process for the teacher. So here's how you do it. For instance, right here on the word yesterday, you see that this is the start of a sentence and it should have a capital letter. So what you could do is you could just highlight the capital Y. That's what we want to correct. And then we're just going to hold down shift and type a Y and you'll see there it kind of marks off the lowercase y and adds an uppercase y. So we'll do this again. I'll show you how to do it for went. That doesn't have an e at the end. So we'll just highlight this and type in the correct spelling. W-E-N-T. And uh, one more time on the word really. I'm not going to spend the time to correct everything. I just want you to see how this works. You could type R-E-A-L-L-Y, the correct spelling. And you'll see with each one that I enter, it comes up on the side here. So, when the students have taken time to correct each other's papers, then they can go back into editing mode, and they'll see, oh, I have some corrections to make. Well, let's start off when you click on these, it pops up and shows you exactly where that is. And if they want to accept the suggestion, they can just click the check mark and it will automatically correct it. So they can go down the list and say, oh, I need to change this as well. Okay, went. And really. And as you can see, the paper's looking better and better and better. This is a really helpful tool in that you can get all of your revisions done without having to use a whole bunch of paper. Another neat function in Google Docs is the revision history mode. This is useful if you want to see all the different changes you've made to a document over the course of its life. In order to go to the revision history mode, you click File in the top left corner and scroll down to See Revision History. And this will pop up in the right side of the thing and show you all the different changes you've made. 
So you can revert back to any version of the document or even just going over the changes you've made over the course of its life. So you'll see here, if I click down on the first version of it, you'll see that all the writing looks the same as it was before I did any editing. And if you wanted to restore it to this version, you can just click right here. And this will save changes. Um, each time you make major changes to it, if you just open up a document and read it, it's not going to store it in revision history. But if you're making major changes, such as editing a rough draft, it'll certainly show up. So these are just a couple of the advanced functions of Google Docs that teachers and students can use to improve their writing abilities. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond to all of them. Thanks and have a nice day.